So let's say if we exclude the joint part or the connection part from the steel structures, then we can say that the, the steel members without connection, you know, they are, they are uh, having sufficient strength or they are very strong because steel has, has a very good strength, okay? So we cannot uh, avoid the joints, right? And that's where we, we are introducing the joints in the steel structures. And those joints are, are creating actually a weakness uh, into the structure. This is the way I, I see the, the steel connection part. And that's why it is extremely important uh, when we talk about the, the design of these steel structures, the steel connection is, is extremely important, right? So we'll talk more about this, you know, as and when we progress. And according to me, uh, this steel connection design is one of the gray area uh, in, the, in the industry. So when I, I just uh, started my, my career as, as a structural engineer, and it was the first steel structure which I, I was designing. So I performed all structural analysis, et cetera, in the software. Uh, and then uh, in that organization, uh, it was the practice that the connections were uh, developed or rather uh, were detailed out by the uh, CAD technicians. Uh, he was having experience of uh, almost 30, 35 years in that organization, especially doing only steel connection part. So he was designing number of boards, weight thickness, or let's say weight length, and then the thickness of gusset plate, etc. So I was always uh, always wondering like uh, how he is deciding the thickness of gusset plate, thickness of weld bolts, etc. So he was having his own gut feeling. He was having his own uh, thumb rules, etc. Based on uh, which he was doing. But this question was uh, with me like how uh, to detailed out uh, any connection uh, with a lot of confidence. So this is the way I, uh, I just started my career and I could find that there are certain uh, gap, gap area. Then later on, uh, around let's say in, in 2011 uh, all time, when, when we initiated uh, exercise in one of the organization where, where I was leading that, that exercise, wherein we wanted to convert our all steel connection uh, design uh, from 81984 code to 802007 code. So for that, we took up uh, around 55 different connections. And those 55 different types of connections, we uh, we were designing using uh, IS 802007. And, and we wanted to develop our own in-house spreadsheets our, uh, that's where you know that's what uh, was coming out when we were just taking a quick poll uh, that majority of us uh, are using either manual calculation or in-house developed spreadsheet so we were also thinking uh, or rather we were exploring to develop our own in-house means for connection design with respect to IS 800 2007 so at that time uh, i i realized that there are number of clauses which are not there or uh, or, or the sections which, which is identified here presently in the code, it is not comprehensive. This is what uh, we, we've, uh, we, we found out during, during that exercise. So this area is always there uh, as, as a one of the area of improvement in all the organizations where I was working. And recently I was talking to a few different organizations uh, where uh, where I could see that the connection detailing is still done as per 81984. So, for example, they have developed their standard details uh, as compared to the older code, uh, and now the same detail, same connection detail is 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 continuing. But we'll talk about this. That uh, what are the differences between the old code and this uh, latest code? Okay. So there are a number of incidences which will uh, which are, I'll be keeping on 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 sharing. But with all with my overall experiences, this is what I am used to say always that the steel connection design is one of the gray area, at least in the in the India when we talk about uh, the steel structures. And I'll give you a few more examples in in this presentation as we move forward. Okay. So the, the background of this this workshop, like how it was conceived. So firstly, we, we are uh, receiving a number of requests uh, for the specific workshop on the uh, connection design. Uh, 
second thing as we all know that the uh, detailed handbook along with the practical examples are not available at for the indian standard code okay uh, and the design of connections vary substantially from consultant to consultant this is what i i, I have observed whenever i have come across with the different consultants so I'm not telling that which design is right or wrong, but there are a lot of ambiguities and the practice varies from consultant to consultant. Uh, and this is what I, uh, I observed while interacting with number of engineers that there is lack of confidence while designing the steel connections as per IS 800 2007. Okay, so this were few pointers which were triggering us for generating this. Of course, uh, I always keep this slide uh, wherever you know opportunity arises uh, and related to see connection design right now we are talking only in the context of connection design so for the connection design also there are a couple of or few software available in the market but again those software are not perfect uh, like we cannot blindly rely upon those software and that's why i have mentioned here that this all software need to be uh, authenticated Okay. And the design engineer should be aware about the uh, limitations of the software while performing analysis and design of the structures. Okay. okay, so what we we are going to do in this entire workshop, Our main aim is to uh, understand uh, the connection design as per IS 800 2007. But as I just uh, told you, uh, according to me, 800 2007, the section 10 is not comprehensive. So that's why I, I'll, I'll be presenting my unique way of, uh, of or, or my unique approach towards the connection design. And I, I don't say that this, oh, this is the only right approach, but this is one of the approach which can be used. And according to that approach, I have decided this sequence that we will be talking about uh, Europode 3 to start with for understanding uh, the, uh, the, the concepts and the, and the fundamentals related to connection design. Uh, and when we talk about uh, Eurocode 3, there are uh, handbooks available, as well as uh, there, there are a number of work, worked out examples available. So that's why it is uh, easy uh, to understand whenever we talk about the concepts and fundamentals. And I, I'm used to say uh, regarding the connection design, let's say if I have detailed out any connection, uh, and now if that connection is, uh, whether it is being put in, uh, let's say in the European, European country or in the American country, or let's say in the, in India, the behavior of the connection will be, will be identical, right? It, it's going to be the similar behavior. The strength will be also similar. Let's say if we are not changing material and uh, connection detailing, but if we, if we look at the different international code the each international code uh, is approaching the connection design in their own way uh, and that perspective or or that approach is totally different from from let's say country code to country code okay but uh, according to me see whenever we are designing any connection the behavior or the strength of connection similar connections would be almost similar let's say we, even if we are putting in the different country so that's why uh, let's say we let's try to understand the connection design from the uh, different country perspective also so first of all we'll start with the euro code 3 in detail so, uh, and our uh, our aim will be to understand the concepts and fundamentals of the connection design right so based on euro code 3 and thereafter in one of the session we'll talk about connection design as per the american code AISC 360-60. And finally, we'll be taking uh, the connection design as per IS 800-2007. So after understanding all uh, major concepts, fundamentals, etc., we'll come to IS 800-2007. Okay. We'll also uh, focus on this manual calculations for the connection design because this is what uh, is being used extensively in the industry as of now. Now, usage of software RAM, can, RAM connection for different types of connection. So why this software is introduced in this workshop, the only idea uh, 
what I, I was having while conceiving this workshop to have some kind of a tool, some kind of a software so that we can quickly work around uh, different connections quickly so that we, we can get, you know, uh, the more output for, for uh, review, for the validation, for understanding, etc. Okay. So for that, uh, uh, this, this software uh, is, is considered as, as a part of this workshop. Okay. And the most important part, uh, what we'll be doing here, that we will request participants to share their uh, the different types of connections of, let's say, uh, real projects. So you may share uh, maybe the photographs of the connection or let's say the detailing of the connection along with the capacity. You can share a few connections and then and those connections we will take up as a, as a design. So, and now since everyone is having their own design means, so, so the same design, same connection, we will try to design with all different means available with, with you know, with the different engineers. And at the same time, we will try uh, to solve the same connection in this RAM connection software also okay so the so that we get uh, uh, the the results from all different sources and and then you know we can have a very interesting discussion on that right now this is very interesting slide i've just prepared that as of today on the earth what are the means available for the connection design okay. so whenever we talk about uh, the manual calculations which we all are using extensively so this manual calculations generally they are prepared from this let's say code codes or standards and secondly handbook if it is available for the relevant code okay so this is the way we are dealing with the manual calculations uh, in the in-house developed spreadsheets, again, uh, th there are same references like codes or handbook. The only difference is we are creating some kind of automation or some kind of uh, uh, some kind of let's say optimization in terms of a time saving. But uh, essentially, we are do doing the same thing. Uh, in the manual calculations and, and in the in-house developed spreadsheets. So only formulas which we have inserted, okay? So that uh, repeated efforts are minimized. The third part is the software. Now in the software also, there are uh, two different types what I, I have seen. In fact, I can divide it in three parts when we talk about the software. So one part is the software which is dependent exclusively on the codes and the handbook. Now, when I say uh, the software is dependent on the codes or handbook, so that means uh, the software is coded or, or rather in the software only the formulas which are there in the codes and handbooks are inserted. So we can say essentially uh, this type is similar like what we are doing in this spreadsheet. So the common problem associated with the spreadsheet is, is we cannot control it, right? Uh, the, uh, the control meaning uh, the, the revision control is, is one of the major issue. Let's say in one of the organization, let's say we had this, uh, this task of uh, controlling the spreadsheets uh, of all different means available, not only for connection design, but we spent at least five to six years on, on that. And I, I'll say that still uh, we could not uh, control uh, the, the spreadsheets or rather we could not uh, create controlled spreadsheets even after spending five to six years. Of course, uh, there was voluminous data. There were so many spreadsheets available in so many projects. And in fact, the author who developed a uh, majority of the spreadsheets, uh, they actually left the organization. And then during the project cycle, every time where customization was needed, that was inserted into the Excel sheet. Now, how to find out, how to validate, how to authenticate each and every spreadsheet. So it was uh, uh, very a big task 
uh, which which was taken up and of course it uh, even after a few years uh, i i wouldn't say that it was uh, it 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 could achieve the the defined target so the advantage of the software uh, as against in house developed spreadsheets will be that that it will be controlled okay so essentially the logic is same the logic is same in this uh, in this manual calculations in house developed spreadsheets and the software part when we talk about this first part now there are other types of uh, software which are dependent on finite element method now when we talk about uh, finite element method so in this finite element method actual connection will be modeled using uh, uh, using plate elements shell elements etc uh, and then based on the stresses strain etc uh, the the connection will be designed okay so it is it is a quite complicated way of approaching uh, the connection that is fem based but there is one more intermediate type of uh, option is also available in the software wherein the the software is making simpler assumptions to reduce the effort of fem that is intermediate uh, between this uh, approach number 1 and approach number 2 so according to me the 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 ram connection what uh, we will try to explore uh, during this workshop uh, comes under this category in this first category okay uh, and the idea statica software comes as a intermediate category between option number 1 and 2 so in the idea statica uh, when we model the connections when we develop the connection then Uh, the the connection is resolved using fem approach okay uh, and of course as i just to told you that there are simpler assumptions made or there are number of assumptions made so that uh, effort of computation will be reduced and then this is full fledged fem approach which is we let's say one of the example is uh, let's say uh, ansys okay so recently i was there at uh, at alanti group for giving training uh, to the mechanical engineers uh, like how to develop or model the connections using ansys so in the testing again uh, there could be two possibility right one is the prototype model that means we will create a small scale model for the testing and another is the a full scale testing so according to me these are the different options available uh, for the connection design okay 